These principles will allow you to create the most magnificent version of you. Is that not what we all want in 2024? Hello everyone and welcome to or back to the threat life. If it's your first time tuning in, welcome and I hope you're here to stay. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for taking the time to return back to the threat life yet again and specifically welcome back to episode four of Tahari Talks where we'll be getting into the book that changed my life. I specifically wanted to talk about this book before 2024 begins because we are down to the nitty gritty of 2023. It's basically gone. We got about, by the time you see this, maybe two weeks left. And if you want your life to change in 2024, then you have to reset your mind before the year begins. We're not waiting until January 1st. We need to get into it before the new year begins. Before we get into the goods, I wanna give a huge thank you to Vuglam for sponsoring today's episode of Tahari Talks. Vuglam is an affordable eyewear website Site where you can get fashion frames as well as prescription eyewear for the low. They sent me over five pairs of frames so I want to share those with you before we get into the talk. This first pair that I'm wearing is called Darina and it's your classic cat eye with a twist. It has that modern twist on it. They have the red detailing on the side as well as some gold in there. And I love that they're oversized. It's not your regular cat eye frame because it's not too slender. It's just right. Like this is my everyday frame. The prescription is on point. It's nice and clear. And the glasses are made of good quality materials. Next, we're gonna move into the color frames that I picked up in the first one. This is Sienna and it's given very much grown women. I'm not here to play with y'all. I know what I'm talking about and I know what I mean and I'm standing on it. The green is perfect and it's very versatile. You could really wear this color with just about any other color as well as your neutrals and then it has the tortoise on the top. Another cat eye frame with a twist. Staying right on that color and tortoise wave. Next we have Elefteria. I don't know who came up with these names but that's what her name is. These frames are a lot brighter than I expected them to be. I thought it would be more of a burnt orange, but it's a very electric orange, but these are a pop out frame. Like this can be your pop of color. If you really wanna go crazy, you can mix it up. And the round just gives it a different look, a different twist. This is not for the basic girlies, it's for the pop out girls. I feel like you can never ever go wrong with a clear frame, especially when they look like this. These are named Jesse, and then they have the black detailing to outline the frame. <sighs> The side arms ombre into a black with the clear and this is your everyday framing. You could wear these with any and everything. And then last but certainly not least, we have Miss Ella Roof. These don't look like an Ella Roof. Like this frame needs more of a modern name because it gives very much the it girl of right now. It has this crystal detailing on the sides. Still a statement frame, but it's clear while doing so, so you can still wear it with everything. It's nice and versatile. Vuglam did not come to play with these frames. And like I said, the prescription is very on point. They come in a good amount of time. They each come with your own duster bag so that you keep them clean. And they also come with cloth, so there's no excuse to be walking around with dirty frames in 2024 either. One of the absolute best features that Vuglam has to offer is their AR try on feature. If you download their app, you can try on virtually any frame that they have to offer. You can see how it looks on yourself. You can save them to your wish list. You can see your history of frames, even do a nice little 180 of yourself to see exactly how the frames will look if you purchase them. I've never seen an eyeglass company give it up just like this. The AR try on feature alone sets Vuglam apart from any other eyeglass company that I've ever experienced. If you do decide to shop on the website, then you can upload your photo and try on the frames that way. There's always a deal going on on Vuglam. And I love that they're a one-stop shop for the entire family. They even will get the kids together. They have the prescription frames for the children as well as the transitional frames or the frames alone. They will also meet your sunglasses needs so that you're stepping in fashion and you can get your prescription in those. And last but not least, they do have the men as well so that you can get your man together. 
And don't forget about the accessories. Did I mention they have everything that you need? They've created a seamless system for picking your frames, trying them on, as well as checking them out. Like I said, you can get just the frames alone or you can add your prescription to them. Vooglam gives you the option of ordering standard lenses, or if your needs are a bit more complex, then you can get blue light blocking lenses, photochronic lenses, color tint, polarized lenses. The options are endless. Once you get your lenses custom to exactly what you need and want, all you have left to do is type in your code, enjoy your savings, and wait for the goodness to come in the mail. Best of all, if you use the code Brianna15, you can receive money off of your order. I'll leave my link in the description box below. Go ahead and check out Vooglam for all of your prescription and fashion eyewear needs. Now for the real reason that you came to this video, we are jumping straight into the book that literally changed my life. That sounds like a drag, but I promise y'all it's not. I look back at videos and I'm gonna insert some footage here of the way that I used to speak out loud and the me that read this book and the me that was recording that footage really are not the same people and it's only been about a month or two apart. When I thought about how I wanted to close out the year for Tahari Talks, I thought about practical tips and advice and things and methods that I could provide you all as far as practical tools that you could use in order to get more discipline in your life and reach the goals that you have set for yourself. And I still may do that, but none of that matters if your mindset is the same. If you do not take the time to reset your mind and your mindset, no practical tips that anybody can sit and tell you will be helpful will actually be useful because you won't be able to implement them properly without the proper mindset. So before we get into any practicality, let's talk about your mind. And this book did that for me. The book is called The Secret by Rhonda Byrne. Spoiler alert, if you don't wanna know what the exact secret is because I'm not gonna sit here and gatekeep it for the entire video, skip over the next 30 seconds. Let's get straight into it. The secret is the law of attraction. I was wondering if they were gonna make me wait forever to get into the book and tell what the big secret was, but they don't, they tell you right in the beginning. I do wanna say I realized that not everybody is into reading actual physical paper books, that's fine. They have a movie for this concept produced by the authors of the book and the audio book is on YouTube for free. They always say if you wanna put valuable information away so that very few people find it, put it in a book and there's reasons why they say that. But again, I'm not gonna pressure y'all to get the paper the audiobook, the movie, all of it is out there for you to get. I want everybody that I love, I've been telling all of my family, my friends, everybody around me about this book. And because you're watching this video, that means that either you're somebody that I love, you wanna improve your life or both. This is where you can start as far as resetting your mind for 2024 to meet your goals. While I want you to get this information for yourself, I do wanna share some of my biggest takeaways from reading this book and how it transformed my life specifically. I feel like pure shit. I feel like God is playing in my face. I feel lost. I feel stuck. I feel like I'm doing a bunch of things, but none of it is landing. None of it is working. What am I doing? I don't believe it with all of me, but I believe it with enough of me that I'm not gonna stop or give up. So I really hope one day I'm gonna use this video to help somebody not to give up. And I don't feel like it. I don't want to. It's not happening. As y'all saw in the video clips, I was somebody, although I know that words have power, I did not realize how even my thoughts, if they do not turn into words, also have the same magnitude of power. And I did not realize how those thoughts that I was allowing to ruminate in my mind were shaping my very life. The premise of the book is basically that what you think about, you bring about. Everything in your life right now, you can look around at the car you drive, the job that you have, the family around you, the relationship that you're in or out of, the hobbies that you take part in, all of those things are a result of thoughts that you have thought. And as a result, the secret has always been in play in your life, either unbeknownst to you or cognitively. And so this book teaches you how to become the master of your thoughts. A lot of times we think that, okay, I can think negative things, but as long as I don't say it out of my mouth, then at least this is what I thought. As long as I don't say it out loud, then we're still doing all right. But even your thoughts have to constantly be regulated so that you're not thinking things and bringing them about into your life and into your world. How do I do that? Well, of course the book tells you, and it's under 200 pages, so it doesn't take very long to read, but I'm also gonna go through some of those points in the video as well. One thing that they do want you to realize is that the negative thoughts, although they may come, everybody has them, they aren't as powerful as the positive ones. So while negative thoughts can take over and can shape the things of your experience, your positive thoughts will have that much more power over your situation. And I vividly remember over the summer, 
saying things aren't working out for me my career isn't going in the direction that i wanted to the money isn't flowing how i want to flow i remember saying nothing is working and because i was saying it because i was thinking nothing was working because i was saying the money isn't flowing in reality it wasn't and nothing was working because that's where my thoughts were stuck but the moment that i started to repeat I'm so blessed. Everything always works out for me. Money is always on its way to me. I am a money magnet. I attract abundance and wealth into my life constantly. Opportunities are always around me. It opens up my eyes to see things that have already been there and were always on their way to me. It opens up my heart to be able to receive more abundance, to continue to create the thoughts that will continue to attract the blessings. For example, over the summer, I kept saying, no opportunities are coming through. I'm checking my email, I'm not seeing anything. When I implemented the secret into my life, I go back to an email that I wasn't really using anymore for content purposes. Don't y'all know all along, even while I was in the rumination of thoughts, nothing is working out for me. Opportunities were landing in that inbox. I just did not see them because I was blocking myself off to the possibility that there were opportunities at my front door. The secret doesn't come in and give you abilities that did not already exist. It just unlocks them. They're already there. Everything that you need is already within you. You have everything that you need to change your life. You just have to implement the strategy by seeing the power that actually exists within you. The interesting thing about the secret and the law, they use the words secret and the law interchangeably because it's all the same thing, the law of attraction. It does not compute negative language. The law does not compute negative negatives and language. This was a game changer for me too because we say things that we don't want. We say things that we're trying to avoid. For example, I don't want to be late. Or in the book, they use the example also of I don't want these shoes to hurt. You think by saying that I don't want said thing to happen is keeping it away, but by even entertaining the thought of it as a whole, you're attracting it to yourself. So anytime you say, I don't want to be late, what you're really saying according to the law and the secret is I want to be late. I don't want these shoes to hurt. I want these shoes to hurt. And it sounds crazy, but when you really think about it entertaining the thought of a thing at all whether you want it or don't want it a lot of times leads to you seeing it come into fruition whereas on the flip side if you say I'm always on time I'm always exactly where I need to be when I need to be there I may experience delays but there's protection in every delay that I experience in my life notice the change in the language in one we're talking about being late and the other we're talking about purpose and being where you're meant to be at all times. In the book, they talk a lot about quieting your mind and how quiet in the mind is the way to master your mind. And the way that you do that is through meditation. Another good technique that they talk about in the book is visualizing the life that you want to achieve. I want y'all to stop and think about the things that you want to achieve in the new year, in the years to come. What do you want your life to look like? What do you want to be driving? Where do you want to live? What do you want to be doing? How do you want your daily routine to look? Close your eyes for 60 seconds, smile and think about what that looks like, how it feels. How does that person feel when they get up in the morning? What is the first thing that they do? What is the last thing that they do? Closing your eyes, feeling that feeling and really embodying where you want to arrive is one of the ways to meditate and attract those things to you. So for example, I always say my dream card is a binge GLE AMG truck. So when I read that part of the book, I closed my eyes and envisioned myself walking out of my home and into the truck feeling the leather smelling the scent of the new car turning on the navigation system all of the things and it doesn't even have to be anything material you can want oh i love this secret so much it makes me excited to talk about it Another example that they said is that people have brought themselves into good health with the secret. If you're sick in your body, imagine what it would feel like to wake up and not have to take medicine, to not have to go to therapy, to not have to see your doctor multiple times a week. What does that person feel like? What do they do with the time that they normally spend in doctor's appointments? So it's a matter of visualizing yourself having the things that you want so that you can attract them to yourself. Another thing that the secret constantly talks about is that it's not our business to find out how the things that we want will come into our existence our only responsibility is to call the things that we want in detail they call it the catalog of the universe call the things exactly the color the type the city the state call it exactly how you want it and i don't care if your situation looks nothing like what you want it to look like or you're like i want to become a homeowner but i have no idea how i'm going to get there that part is not your business as it relates to the secret. The only thing you're responsible for doing as far as your mindset goes is believing that you can because you can. Describing exactly how you want it to be and then cultivating the thoughts that will attract that thing to you. Sometimes the secret can sound very mystical and like we're just floating on a higher vibration but really 
it's practical and it works when i say my life has changed like the moment i started implementing the secret things started changing my discipline became easier my diet changed my habits changed opportunities came my financial situation changed everything is changing because i'm implementing the principles that are outlined in this book and you'll see different testimonials from people all throughout the book from thought masters to spiritual leaders to life coaches who have all implemented the secret even like years and years ago in the bc era the law has always been in effect and it always will be in effect the book says these exact words the knowledge implemented will enable you to create the most magnificent version of yourself these principles will allow you to create the most magnificent version of you is that not what we all want in 2024 i don't know about y'all but i want to be the very best version of myself in addition to saying that everything in your life right now is a direct result of your thoughts they also remind you that your current thoughts are creating your future life and what you think about the most or focus on the most will appear in your life because nothing can come into your experience unless you summon it through persistent thought I swear the whole time I was reading this book, I was just like, yes, yes, yes. It's literally gym after gym after gym. How do feelings play into this? Because we know that feelings are very valid, but feelings are not fact. Feeling is nothing but information coming through your body. Anxiety is telling you, okay, I'm worried about something. There's some fear here. Anger is telling you, I'm upset with this. I don't like this situation. I'm very uncomfortable. But feelings are not fact. And it's just information but a lot of times instead of just allowing the information to either pass through us or give us something to process we allow our feelings to drive how we act or how we think or the reality that we continue to call into existence as a result of those feelings so as it relates to feelings the book says the secret says that your feelings are a feedback mechanism your feelings are your frequency feedback mechanism nothing more nothing less it's providing your body it's providing your mind with information that has been derived from the stimuli around you Granted, we're all going to have those days where we feel bad. I still have days where I'm like, all right, my thoughts are going somewhere where they really shouldn't go. I don't even have no business going back, but we go in there a little bit. But it's all about the awareness. And anytime you're feeling bad, it's communication that's giving you a warning to change your frequency, change your thoughts, change how you're feeling. All right, we need a reset because if not, these thoughts are going to come into manifestation. It's your body's way of signaling you to take inventory and do something different. Another point that this says, and I want to read it verbatim, so you're going to see me looking down. The secret states... You can shift your thoughts to what you want. Receive confirmation through a feeling that you've changed your frequency. And the law of attraction will grab hold of that new frequency and send it back to you as the new pictures of your life. Did I mention I love this freaking book? Another practical tool that they shared in the book was that you should create a gratitude list. Put it in your phone so that you can always have it with you. That's what I did. And just list out everything you can think of that you're grateful for every little thing that you're grateful for from the smallest things to the big things i'm grateful that i'm able to breathe i'm grateful that i woke up this morning and my throat isn't sore every time i swallow i'm grateful that there's a house over my head i'm grateful that the air that i breathe is clean enough that i don't pass out every time i breathe it in every little thing that you're grateful for and anytime that you find yourself in a funk or you feel yourself slipping into negative thought patterns look at that gratitude list and instantly instantly you may not feel 100 percent better but i'm willing to bet that you will feel at least somewhat better from looking at the gratitude list and being reminded of hey yeah i got this situation going on but these are the things that i'm grateful for and this is where my focus should be and in addition to that close your eyes and smile it sounds so doofy but close your eyes and smile you can't close your eyes smile and remain furious at the same time you might be a little upset but it's a practical way to kind of reset that energy every single time. All in all, this book is a guide for resetting your thoughts, resetting your mindset, resetting your life and changing it so that you can come off the bench of watching everybody else achieve their goals and live out their dreams and start doing it for yourself. Clearly, time is waiting on no man. It feels like 2023 just started months ago and yet we're at the very end of it about to enter into a new year. What will you do differently than you did this year so that you don't have to repeat the same feelings and the same lessons and the same hardships granted hardship is a part of life we will always experience them but do you want to keep running circles in the same hamster wheel or do you want to experience the challenges that come from leveling up in your life Oof. I just smacked myself with that question. Do you want to keep experiencing the same challenges or do you want to experience new challenges that come as a result of leveling up in your life? 
questions that need answers. Only you can come up with that answer. Nobody's gonna come put the book in your hand. Nobody's gonna make you read it. Nobody's gonna force you to listen to the audiobook. Only you have the power to reset your mind before the new year starts so that you can take hold of your life, live out your dreams, and create the reality that you not only want, but the one that you deserve. There's so many times that we psych ourselves out of getting what we want out of this life and in this life because we feel like, oh, that's for them. Or I want it, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Or I thought about it back then and I just kind of slowed it away because I, no, 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 no. We're not playing small in 2024. Playing small is played out. <laughs> playing small is played out and it's time for you to go after every little thing that you want. But in order to do so, you have to start by resetting your mind. Anything that you're unhappy with in this life, you can do something about it but it's mental first. The same way I've told y'all in previous videos to use your words, use your power. You have it, you just have to utilize it. And it's not your fault that things have happened that have allowed that power to go dormant or for you to kind of forget that it even exists because life is hard and things have happened that kind of get you tired and feeling down. But baby, it's time to wake the beast up because we got things to do and goals to accomplish. I could sit here and talk to y'all all day long about this book and about the principles that it teaches, but I want you to check it out for yourself. If you've already checked out this book, let me know in the comments, what did you think about it? What did you take away from it? And if you plan to check it out, please report back after you do. Just like the teacher, I need, the, I need a book report. Let me know what you think, how you feeling. Has it changed anything for you? This wouldn't be Tari Talks without a quick prayer just to close us out. So I do wanna do that. And then we're gonna close this video out all together. God, as this year comes to a close, I just want to thank you for all the lessons of 2023. For every viewer watching this, thank you for every lesson, every hardship, every challenge that they've overcome in this year. We know that they've overcome it for the simple fact that they are sitting here listening to the sound of my voice. That means that no matter how hard it got, no matter how tiring it got, they persisted and pushed through and made it thus far. Thank you for the reset and the shift. Thank you for the mindset shift, the life change, and the places that you're taking us. God, I ask that you allow every person that's viewing this video to reset their minds and become clear about what it is they want to achieve moving into this new year. This won't be like traditional New Year's resolutions that disappear in a few weeks into the new year, but an actual shift and change in their mindset and then in their life. Thank you for access to information and access to you. And we ask that you continue to guide us and show us exactly what it is that you want us to hear, see, and know. And it's in your name I do pray. Thank you for the life of every single person that is under the sound of my voice right now. Amen. <laughs> Every technical difficulty that could have come about tried to come about to stop me from sharing this information. And that's how I know. That's how I know somebody's life is about to be made better because they simply tuned into this video, learned about this book, and then actually did something with the information. There's information everywhere. There's no lack of information that exists. The only lack that exists is doing something with the information that you're given. Don't let that be you. Do something about the feelings of being stagnant, the feelings of contentment, and make changes. As always, I hope this episode of Time Sorry Talks was helpful to you and that you found it useful. If so, feel free to share with everyone that you love. Drop it in a group chat, drop it on the forums, put it everywhere. Replay it if you need to, but whatever you do, make sure that you actually implement the strategies provided. Once again, huge thank you to Vugland for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check out the styles that are featured as well as the rest of the styles that they have to offer on their site and all of the information will be in the description box below. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love y'all down and I will see y'all in the next video. Later.